Buster on Y96.5 uh, being joined by Yo Gotti. What's up, dude? What Actually, do you, do? you know, I got to say it right because when Yo Gotti comes on the track, you don't just walk on the track. It's Yo Gotti. <laughs> <laughs> Believe that. It was popping. Uh, wait, wait, where, does, where does that rasp come from? Because I, I have a raspy voice myself. And, yeah. You know, it might come from a couple Phillies over time. You know, <laughs> you know. Man, I don't know. I think it's just their pain and struggle, you know. <laughs> okay. I guess, you know. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna start telling people. Yeah, it yeah. Comes from a struggle. <laughs> yeah, it's a yeah, struggle. Feel my pain. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh obviously uh riding out on the new single, Everybody. Yeah, this for everybody. Uh, congratulations on the success here. Yeah. Um and then tonight, uh we've got the show with Wayne and Drake, yeah. SBC, Camden. How's this tour going? It's fun? Oh man, it's great. It's a big stage. It's one of the biggest stages I ever been on tour wise. You know, we playing in front of twenty thousand people every night, you know, give or take. So it's crazy. Yeah, you know that's the. It, be careful, because this particular stage is dangerous for the Drake tours. Because <laughs> like, I, what was it? Two years ago, he uh, he like pulled a hamstring and and busted his leg <laughs> yeah. on stage during his performance. It's the same venue. <laughs> yeah, it's the same uh, joint. <laughs> so yeah. be careful. Don't be slipping around on that stage. I'm gonna go hard. I don't know. Something may happen. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the show tonight uh where now have you been on the tour since it started or did you yeah. come in halfway or yeah i've been on it since it started and what cities uh what cities are you noticing you can get the biggest turn up out of you know the crazy thing is that it, it's all the same like once you hit the step every time i look from behind the curtain i see so many people i'm like i'm thinking what song to perform what song not to perform making sure it, your zipper's up yeah you know making sure the head <laughs> right everything right you know what i mean and then once i hit the stage it's like oh they know what's going on yeah you know what i'm saying right right right, and right. They word for word they singing along with it that's dope man now you're uh you're a fellow taurus right yeah i think we have the same birthday yeah, May what, 19th? You, yeah, well, I'm 17th. 17th. All yeah. right, all right. Well, close enough. We can have a joint party. Yeah, <laughs> let's turn up. Let's do something. <laughs> um, what, uh, when we when you talk like birthdays, what birthday, what year of your life sticks out the most in Yo Gotti's life? Like, if you think of the, the most significant birthday party of your childhood, everybody has that, like, party where you're like, damn, this was crazy. We got to go. Uh, birthdays, man. I think when I bought my first Lamborghini for my birthday, oh, this guy. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was it. Well, I had Michelangelo I from the Ninja Turtles at my yeah. fifth birthday party in high school. <laughs> yeah, get, getting that Lambo was something special to me. You know? All right. All I right. always wanted it, you know. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> uh, you, do, you, uh, do you take that back around uh, Memphis and the, the old hood? And you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You ride there? I'll be yeah. riding through my old hood, but I'm in my new whip. Yeah, it's motivation. <laughs> We yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that's cool. That's we got to cool. show them because I ain't never see it. I, I feel like I never seen them cars when I was in the hood. I do, mm -hmm. you know, so I got them. I feel like it, I got to show it to them so they know they can get one. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's like a message. Plus, like, I feel like I don't know. It, you know, I didn't grow up rich or anything either. So sometimes I just buy shit because it's like I can. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I tell people all the time, like. I knew what I was going to buy once I got my money. I ain't had to think about it. It was already spent. Yeah. I already knew. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, it's a little different for you and me. I'm looking at Jordans, <laughs> but <laughs> cool. That's good. Do you um do you feel like any sort of section of the country, you know, with you, you know, being from the South, do you see any harder reaction in any section of the country? Like, do they, do they mess with you more in the South because of that or? Now, I think New York always we from coming from the south is like if you can if they rock with you in New York, it always was the hardest task. Yeah. But in today's times, like it's all you hear in New York is the south. So you yeah. should. And it's not like it used to be. Like it, it used to be like you know, back in back in the old East West days, and you know the Source Awards, and yeah. you know East Coast ain't got love for Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. You know, yeah. like, uh, I feel like there was a lot of that back then, but nowadays, like it's it's, it's kind love. of it's just across the board, right? Yeah. It's just, as a it's fan, just it's not as fun. I want you guys to start fighting again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see nobody be friends. It's I too want... peaceful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's too Somebody peaceful. got to die in this, Scotty. <laughs> it's too peaceful. Yeah, I feel you know. Uh, um, so as as you're uh, as you're coming up, you've been in the game now a few years, and you've been in the forefront a few years. Um, you've obviously gotten to work with people where you're like, "Whoa, I get to work with this person," you know. Um, but 
I guess it's a two part question. One, who, where have there been those moments in your career where you've been like, damn, I'm in the studio with him? Um, I went in the studio with Dr. Dre once. Yep. And it was like, yo, you yeah, know right. What I mean? Like, <laughs> and it's Dre, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it was like long, long, very long time ago, you know what I mean? Um, uh, Nate Dogg had actually brought me in the studio with him. The one man. Night. Rest in peace of Nate Dogg. He had the ill blunt raps too back yeah, in the day. Yeah, so. Nate Dogg. <laughs> but it was a long time ago. Like, long, long time ago. Yeah. Uh, that has to be crazy too, sitting in there with Dre. Now it's so funny because, like, you, you talk to the audience and half of them don't even know what he's famous for anymore. Now it's like, oh, you mean the, the speakers guy? Yeah, Beach Boy Dre. <laughs> like yeah, the headphones know. guy? Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is crazy. Um, yeah. So, okay, so the section, second part to that question is who are you still kind of like, man, I really want to get in the studio with this person? Kanye. Yay. Yeah. I feel like that's got to be, that's got to be every rapper's dream, right? Yeah, Kanye just, I just feel like he's super creative, like production wise and artist wise. So, and and I like to go outside the box sometimes to see what gets super creative. And I think he the person that Kanye that stay way. outside the box. Yeah, <laughs> he invented that, <laughs> which, which I think is cool. And I and and artists like Kanye. I like anytime an artist makes you think. You know, yeah. Anytime where they're like, you know, it takes you out of your element when you're expecting one thing, and you know, and I feel like Kanye is one of those artists where I call him like the uh, the equivalent to like when iPhone or Facebook does a new software update and people get pissed when they hear the, they hear the new, they're like, oh, that's not Kanye. And then six <laughs> months later, they're like, that's my shit. They sing it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So, everybody, I saw on your Instagram, you, uh, you're you kind of doing everybody uh, uh, memes and scenarios. Yeah. I like that everybody claim they're from the hood, but they're not. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> you, you calling out anybody in particular there, or is that more of a generic statement? I mean, you know, it's it's what we're living in, man. You you know more than I know probably about them. You see them, we see them every day. Exactly. Yeah. We well, see them every day, and then, you know, you know, here's the one thing. Especially being like the press, you know, I don't believe anything. Yeah. I don't believe anything, okay. you know. And I think that when you'll you'll hear certain things on the records, and you'll be like, man, I don't know about that. I don't know. Like you know, there's certain rappers, and I'm not gonna name any names or anything. And get crazy, but there's certain rappers where you're like, really, was it really like that for you, bro? Uh, I I don't really know. Like you know, I'm gonna tell you this from my stance on. I feel like. 95 percent of them ain't really living what they talking about you know what i mean what well, didn't live it because they shouldn't be living it now if you're smart right. and you get money <laughs> yeah in the, in the music you know what i'm saying but you know i don't know them at the same time i ain't grow up with them so who is me to say yeah exactly you know but i also feel like sometimes sometimes i'll be like if you were real real hood and if you were a real g like, I'll see you dancing around in music videos, and I feel like the real people from the real, like, the real shit out there, like, they wouldn't be dancing around nothing, let alone be let themselves be taped. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's different now, though, because the society changed. Like, like we go back to Memphis, right? Mm -hmm. like, and I'd be say I'm on Instagram or something. I may look up on somebody's page, and I know for a fact, like, do hear us. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get no no gangster. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah. I grew up like he the big homie. Like, we grew up, you know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. I look and I see him on Instagram. And it's funny, though. It's weird because <laughs> it, I'm a rapper now. Like, but you still a gangster. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you yeah. feel me? So, like, yo, what you doing? You know what I'm saying? But... It's our, it's the times we living in now. So like everybody got them. You look up your mama got Instagram, Facebook, killers, gangsters. Everybody got it. It's, it's just the day it, times it we living weird. in. You, <laughs> you'll actually see killers out here doing the ice bucket challenge. Yeah, you, you, <laughs> you look up. You, you look up. You 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 following somebody who wouldn't like you. Your parents' picture, yo, what's on? <laughs> what you doing on this? What you at that my mama, you got a Facebook? What you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yo, Gotti, uh, in the studio today. The show is tonight. Uh, Lil Wayne versus Drake featuring Yo Gotti, Camden, New Jersey. Yeah. Uh, also, make sure we're downloading everybody. Yeah. Um, album, album. Album, November. It's called The Art of Hustle. Mm -hmm. Everybody's the first thing off there. It's on iTunes right now. You can go get it. Hell yeah. yeah. All right. What's up? Uh, 
What's up with uh, anything else after that? What are you, what are you bringing? Um, some clothes, some cartoons, some we, action figures? What you got? Uh, well, you know my uh, artist also, Snooty Wow. He had the Yeah Yo record. Yeah, all I do. Yeah, yeah. he got an um, EP coming out September 23rd. You can pre-order that. He got a new single called uh, Made Me featuring K-Camp is, is, is uh, growing. Um, Let me ask you about that. When you're trying to bring an artist and you're still doing your thing, yeah. okay, and say... Say a yay comes through or any any artist, right? Yeah. Say that you want to work with. Okay. But that you know they would be right for a project, say, with Snooty Wild. Yeah. But you still got your own Yo Gotti brand. So it's like, are you going to help out your artist? Are you going to put yourself first? Are you going to try and make it some sort of class? Like, how do you how do you decide there? I mean, to me, if if, if, if yay wants to work with Snooty, we let him work with Snooty. We don't block. Uh -huh. We don't block no bad opportunity because at the end of the day, that's all me. Yeah, yeah you, you still cake. If you work with Snooty, you work with me anyway. Okay. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, 100. It's like, I'm talking about, I'm going to feel the same exact way if, if Snooty had a record with Kanye. I'm going to feel like I done one with him. Right. But guess what? I put Snooty in position to do that record with Kanye. So that's a spinoff of, of my vision and work. So we, we accomplished that. It's like Akon making that Lady Gaga money, son. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, Yo Gotti, thank you so much uh, for coming by the Wire 96.5 studio. Tonight's the night. Uh, make sure you download everybody. You the man player. 100. Cool. I think it's just their pain and struggle, you know. <laughs> okay. I guess, you know. Yeah. That's what I'm going to start telling people. Yeah. yeah. Come from a struggle. <laughs> yeah. It's a yeah, struggle. Feel my pain. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, uh, riding out on the new single, Everybody. Yeah. This for everybody. Uh, congratulations on the success here. Yeah. Um, and then tonight, uh, we've got the show with Wayne and Drake, yeah. SBC, Camden. How's this tour going? It's fun? Oh, man. It's great. It's a big stage. It's one of the biggest stages I've ever been on tour-wise. You know, we playing in front of 20,000 people every night, you know, give or take. So... It's crazy. Yeah, you know, that's the it, be careful because this particular stage is dangerous for the Drake tours. Because, <laughs> like, I, what was it, two years ago, he, uh, he like, pulled a hamstring and, and busted his leg. <laughs> the thing is that it, it's all the same. Like, once you hit the step, every time I look from behind the curtain, I see so many people. I'm like, I'm thinking what song to perform, what song not to perform. Making sure and, your zipper's up. Yeah, you know, making sure the head right, <laughs> everything right, you know what I mean? And then once I hit the stage, it's like, oh, they know what's going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And they right. word for word, they singing along with it. That's dope, man. Now you get <laughs> on stage during his at performance. The, at the same venue? <laughs> yeah, it's the same uh, joint. <laughs> so yeah. be careful. Don't be slipping around on that stage. I'm going to go hard. I don't know. <laughs> Something may happen. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the show tonight. Uh, where Now, have you been on the tour since it started, or did you yeah. come in halfway? Or Yeah, I've been on it since it started. And what cities? Uh, what cities are you noticing you can get the biggest turn up out of? You know the crazy. Buster on Wire ninety six five. Uh, being joined by Yo Gotti. What's up, dude? What Actually, do you, do? you know I gotta say it right because when Yo Gotti comes on the track, you don't just walk on the track. It's Yo Gotti. <laughs> <laughs> Believe that. Philly was popping. Uh, wait, where, where does where does that rasp come from? Because I, I have a raspy voice myself. And, yeah. You know, it might come from a couple Phillies over time. You know. <laughs> you know. Man, I don't know.